There's no way that this thing is here right now. I can't believe it. Just kidding. That's a cheesy intro. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today is the video I've been anticipating for so long. My Voltex wing is finally here, and I cannot be any more excited. So, anyways, my Voltex Type 2 wing, 1600 millimeters by 275 tall. I did Type C end plates, and it's the wet carbon version, so it's gonna fit nicely on the 8.6. But, oh my god guys, it's been like a year and two months since I ordered this thing and it's just been so long guys. It's definitely worth the wait. I mean, that's how it goes with Japanese parts, you sometimes have to wait. Um, but yeah, this is, this is here guys. So, I already filmed the unboxing before doing this intro, but just so, as you can tell, I'm just super excited. So, let's go right ahead and get to the unboxing and then we'll see what this wing is all about. Alright, so here's the big box for the Voltex wing and we're going to go ahead and unbox this, and I've been waiting a year and about two months for this, so let's see what's inside. I'll give you guys a closer look once I have everything unpacked, but so far, first thing you agree with, we have some documentation, maybe a template, I'm not sure. We have all our authentication tools and everything like that. Got our Voltex stickers, so. That's in here, we'll get a close look at that. Everything is nicely packaged, of course. I mean, it's expected from Voltex. The two components to this box. Right here, this is how it's packaged. Very secure. Looks like there wasn't much movement at all during transit. So this definitely shows how dedicated they are to protect what they made. So here's the wing deck itself. Wow, this thing is light. This is definitely the nicest thing I ever have. Wow, this is <laughs> super light. But I'm gonna put this aside, see what else we got in here. So these are the 275 millimeter stands. And I think I'm gonna go for these solid stands at some point. Just, uh, I'm gonna rock this for now. Here we have our end plates here. I got type C for this. So I'm gonna crack this one. This is pretty awesome, guys. I never really thought I'd ever get a Voltex wing or anything like that. But with the 8.6, this is literally my childhood dreams coming true of me putting a big wing on a car. I mean, I had my Battle Arrow wing on my Impreza, but it's not the same because, you know, that's on a hatchback. It was kind of look, it looked kind of weird, honestly. But now with this, this is literally a dream come true. So here are the carbon end plates. So it looks like the sticker you actually apply yourself. Actually, I really thought that. There was like a gel coating or something, but it looks like for the Type 2 wing, you apply the sticker yourself. So, got some hardware and the end plates here. Super cool. I'll put those to the side. Here are the stands. These are 275 millimeters. Packaging is so well done, guys. Like, it's literally the best I've ever seen. All the hardware is already set up for you. You know, figuring that out. And here are the mounts for that. So looks like we have four mounting points here for the trunk on this little bracket here. It's actually a little bit flexible, sort of. So it can conform to different trunk sizes for sure. But yeah, all the hardware is already set up for you. So you learn just have to tighten everything. And this feels super nice, by the way. This is how the mounts are. It's like this kind of soft plastic feel. I'm not sure if it's plastic or not, but it's a little bit flexible. So again, it can really conform to different trunk sizes. And for my setup here, I'm trying to maintain my TRD trunk lip. So I might have to mount this a little bit more forward than normal. I'm really hoping it still looks normal. <laughs> if not, I might have to trim my TRD wing, but I really don't want to do that. This is what it looks like, guys. Might get solid stands in the future, but for now, we're going to rock these. And this is, again, the 275 millimeters height. Kind of figure it looked taller, but maybe that's just me. Who knows? So we'll find out here if it looks right or not. So this is 1600 millimeters. So this should be just as wide as the rear of the 8.6. Um, I know some people rock the 1700 millimeter one, but I think this would be the best size for it. Just based on the research I did. Oh man, this looks insane already. I really don't want to touch it that much because I'm going to be starting with putting it. But, oh my god, this is crazy. Oh my god. I can't believe I have this thing. Here's the deck. Carbon fiber, of course. You 
you got the closer look, but oh my god, here it is. We'll dive in a bit closer to everything else, but here is proof that this is a real Voltex wing. So every Voltex wing will have serial number or whatever on the inside. And you can normally just tell just by looking at it when you have a fake or real Voltex. Guys, this is freaking insane. Carbon weave, super nice. Should look even better once I ceramic coat it, but oh my goodness, guys. This is insane. It's huge, by the way. I don't know if the camera really gives you the best idea, but this thing is massive. It's 1600 millimeters wide. It should go perfectly well with what I have on the 86 now. Here's the bottom of it, and as you can see, the stands here, or the base is whatever it's called, are also carbon as well. So that's another way you can kind of authenticate a wing. Because normally these aren't like that if it's a fig voltex or whatever. Guys, I can't, I, I just can't say this enough. I can't believe I have this. I ordered this thing about a year and two months ago, and I just have, just, this is hard to believe I literally have this right now. Because here as well was in that information packet some stuff here that i can't read because i don't know japanese oh here we go tighten the bolt with a torque of one kilogram the bolts are tightened too tightly the paint may sink which may lead to cracks so just a warning for you i guess you have this card thing here but it does have all the specs on the bottom how i configured this so 86 zn6 type 2 1600 millimeters um wc whatever that means 275 base plates, type C end plates, and it's the standard Voltex type two. Got this as well. I guess it's just showing you how to mount it. I'll probably Google translate all of this just to double check. Then another sheet of info. Finally, we've got our Voltex stickers for the end plates. So I'm gonna make sure I get these nice first try. You know, I have a vinyl cutter, so if I ever screw this up, I can always cut some new ones. But anyway, this is it right here, guys. Voltex. But yeah, I guess that's it for the unboxing. As you guys can see, there's really not a lot. They've already set up all the hardware for you in their correct positions. And literally, the best package thing ever. Like, there's no way this guy got damaged at all. Definitely super awesome how they package everything together. But yeah, guys, this is, this is crazy. <laughs> I've been waiting a year and two months for this. And again, it's hard to believe I have it right now. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and ceramic coat everything. Uh, whatever I can and then we're gonna test it on the car see where we want the wing to be I'm hoping I don't have to trim my tyranny wing, but we're gonna find out but guys Voltex, I can't believe I have this once again. This is crazy So I already went ahead and kind of put the wing together But I just wanted to show you guys all the hardware that they use for everything So out the package all the hardware is already set up to their correct positions So I actually took off the base plates for now I'm gonna mock it up on the trunk So all the hardware they have was already in position to where they should go so that helps a lot. You know how to anything to figure out. Actually, three different sized um, Allen heads for each of the different sections of this wing. So something to keep in mind. But the end plate's on as well. I know it's kind of hard to see in this angle, but, but yeah, guys, look at this finish on the carbon. I actually already ceramic coated this, and it just looks really, really nice. Like, yeah, this is this gonna be pretty cool. So I already have the tape on the trunk. I'm gonna have my boy Andy come through and he's gonna help me mock this up. We're just gonna drill right through the trunk. So, I mentioned earlier, I'm planning to keep this TRD lip on there. Only problem is I'm afraid that it might look kind of weird if it sits too far forward. So, we're just gonna mock it up and see where it lands. But I'm really trying to avoid trimming this if I can. Because if I get one of the base plates here, it's pretty much gonna sit right here. So, right in front of the lip there. But, if I need to sit further back, I would have to trim the TRD lip, as you can see. Which, I mean, is really not a huge deal, but i just rather not do that right now. <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, we're going to try putting it here. I'll actually mock it up on camera for you guys. Yeah, this is, this is where we're at right now. By the way, this thing is super light, as expected. I'm going to place it here. Sort of where those brackets will land. It's just about right there, I think, is gonna be where we're at. I think it still looks okay. I, again, I wanna keep the TRD lip, so, because I think without the TRD lip, it looks kinda too round, and you know, already have it, so I might as well just keep it. But it kinda looks like the rear deck here, the foil lines up with the TRD pretty, 
closely, I suppose. And I think that looks all right. But, but yeah, this is kind of the idea of what we're getting at here. So, but yeah, right here in this position, the back of the foil kind of lines up with the TRD lip. I would rather have it stick out a little bit more, but I mean, this is where we're at right now without trimming the lip at all. And the height here, 275 tall, which is about like 10-ish inches, is pretty much at the roof line of the car. So it fits very nicely. And then of course the 1600 millimeter wide width kind of matches the rear quarter panel, at least the top of it. So it's definitely proportionate to the car, which is what I was going for. Look at this thing. Well, it's not drop this, but this thing is super light. All right, here's our plan to mount this thing on. So right now, just tape these bottom base plates onto the brackets here. We're gonna line this up on the trunk, do an outline of the bracket, mark the holes, do a quick eyeball check, and uh, drill all eight holes. That's pretty much it. I'm not sure there's a better way to do this, but I, this is the way we came up with. So yeah. All right, guys, so. A couple hours later, some trial and error. Uh, shout out to my boy Andy for helping me out. Uh, this is definitely more than a one person job. So keep that in mind before diving into this install. But guys, the wing is finally on. I wish I showed more of the install process, but honestly, we didn't really know what we were doing anyway. So I'd rather not show the wrong way of doing something, but I'll show you guys how it ends up looking like. And I'll go into detail on all the hardware and everything. So I got the trunk open now. Wings on, guys. Here's what the bottom looks like. Again, disclaimer this may not be the way to do it, but this is the way we did it. So, uh, but this is what it looks like. So, you guys get a good idea. It'll protrude down the bottom of it. There's no clearance issues or anything. Same on this side. So, yeah, there are washers on like that bottom hole there and whatnot, but some are not there. But I think it should be okay. These are all nylon nuts, so it shouldn't really go anywhere. Put up top here. Your base plates, again, got hardware there. Hardware where it mounts the foil onto these brackets. So, Voltex lets you change the angle of attack. Has a, several different options you can do. I just happened to pick this one. Something very mild per se, although, I don't know, I think it goes well. I'll show the wing there. But yeah, um, be able to adjust that to your liking. But yeah, this is kind of what it looks like at the end of it. So, I believe these here, you can probably line them up wherever you want, because this actually kind of flexes but this just happens to be where we had ours. And it matches pretty good. But yeah guys, this wing is insane. It literally changed the entire presence of this car. Just like that. Don't worry, I'll get some better, better angles of this. Check it out guys. I come back here. Literally like this whole rear angle now, this looks so freaking cool. The 1600 millimeters wide goes nicely. With the quarter panel, you can see it kind of lines up very nicely. But oh my goodness, guys, like I never thought I'd have this thing because I ordered it so long ago. And it's finally here. Again, check that out, guys. I didn't put the sticker on this side yet because I wanted to film flying it or whatever. But right now I'm gonna do a bolt check and make sure everything's torqued nicely. You don't have to torque these that much. I think in the instructions it says just one kilogram of torque for each. So definitely do it all by hand. But this thing is super sturdy, guys. Like, it's not going anywhere. Now, I didn't end up trimming the TRD lip at all. I just left it there, just mounted it as best I could. And we'll get a better view of this outside, but you can kind of see where this wing lands now to where the lip sits. So, this is a little forward. But I still think it's back far enough that it doesn't look that weird. But I believe there are some other stands I can get that makes this angle go back further so that the rear of the foil sticks out more. But for now, I like where we're at right now. One problem is though, and you'll probably not run into this issue if you mount it in the right spot. But now I'm unable to open my trunk all the way. So you can see, do slowly. I mean, you can get it going pretty well until you reach pretty much the middle there. It's gonna come in contact with your rear windshield. Yeah, right there. It kind of stops right there and I think the trunk could probably go more. So what I'm gonna end up doing is finding some sort of restraint or limiter thing that makes the trunk not open as high. This is all right. I mean, I really don't use the trunk that often anyway. So yeah, it's closing it. 
Those are just fine. It doesn't even flex. So this thing is amazing, guys. Like, just look at the finish. I already surround coat this, like I said. Got the Voltex stick on this side. I'm gonna apply the other side here shortly. But oh my god. guys so the install is complete hope you guys enjoyed those cinematics but here is the Voltex wing guys so I cannot believe I have this on my car once again I keep saying that but it's just been so long and honestly this wing just changed everything about this car guys so I had all this arrow on already and it just needed this to tie it all together and it looks so good and you know just driving around it definitely feels like the car is a lot more planted around corners which is Definitely a welcome plus. Super excited that this is on here, guys. So I ended up keeping the TRD wing, and I just have this a little bit more far forward. I do wish it was sitting back further, but maybe in the future we can figure something out for that. But that's where we're at right now. Yeah, guys, just look at it. And then my favorite angle now, too. From the front, you can see it. But just that subtle, not really subtle, but just the wing sticking out there from this angle it's just super super cool and now it kind of all goes together so I have you know my carbon fiber PTA side skirts and I have the June mirrors carbon fiber as well and then come up to the Voltex wing carbon fiber so maybe I'm thinking that I have to do something about the TRD side skirts as you can see it is a satin finish and this is a gloss finish on the Gretty lip so maybe I could do something where, I don't know, I paint this or wrap this or something. Just so it all matches together. Because I do have the TRD fender fins as well. And those are gloss black. So maybe, I don't know, maybe it will flow better if this Grady Lip matches with the side skirt. And I don't know. But anyway, guys, I'm super stoked on how the car is turning out. I never really thought that we'd reach this point so quickly. So we'll do a full mod overview video, just like an updated one with everything I have on the car now. It probably won't change too much the winter months coming up ahead, but this is where we're at right now. And oh my goodness, guys, I just can't believe this is my car. <laughs> Every day I'm always just surprised, like holy crap, I can't believe I have this thing. It's one good last walk around. This is like a childhood dream come true, guys. Like. I always wanted a car to put a wing on. I mean, I know I had the Battle Arrow wing on the Impreza, but it's just not the same as this. Like, this is just so sick. Of course, only quality from Voltex Racing. Yeah, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. You like the wing, you hate it. By the way, I'm keeping this thing, <laughs> so it doesn't even matter, but uh, like the side profile is just so much different now. And, Oh man, I love this thing. That's gonna be end of the video, guys. As you can see, we got our Voltex wing finally after about a year and two months, and definitely worth the wait for sure. Now that it's on the car, it seems like everything is just more complete now with this. But of course, you know, this is a never ending project. We're gonna keep building this, we're gonna keep doing everything we can to make this the best car I've ever had. <laughs> And yeah, I'm super excited for what the future holds. Anyways, guys, as always, if you could like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at will.kgfx, check out Katana Style, katanastyle.com, and at katana.style on Instagram. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.